The Flip Fluids add-on allows you to simulate high-quality fluids all within Blender. Simulate foam, bubbles and spray to create large-scale fluid effects with the white water simulator. Or create viscous liquids ranging from thin and silky smooth to thick liquids that buckle and coil. This add-on is all you need for fluid animations, visual effects or just to play around with. Future development will bring new features like variable viscosity. We have a big list with great ideas about what should be added in the future. We focus on creating a clever workflow. Similar to the Fracture modifier, our Flip Fluids add-on organizes your simulation objects into separate layers. All objects that should not be visible in a render will be drawn as bounding boxes or wireframes in the viewport. When disabling the last layer, your viewport only shows what will be visible in your rendered scene. Oh, and as I'm talking about the Fracture modifier, the Flips Fluids add-on has been optimized and tested to work perfectly with it. While your fractured and baked object is selected, you can make it become an obstacle for fluid simulation. There's an expand slider that makes shards invisibly bigger to avoid fluids to come through them. While all simulation functions will be found to the right in the physics menu, you will also find an additional flip fluids panel on the left in the tool shelf. This panel allows you to have the most important functions available without the need to switch between different panels on the right side. The flip fluids add-on comes with a built-in preset library. These presets make it easy to configure the right simulation settings and materials for your animation. Whether you are simulating wax, chocolate or beer, just to name a few. But that's not all. It's possible to make your own presets and even save them as a package to share with other fluid artists. This simulator is multi-threaded and extensively optimized, which results in an amazing simulation speed. While baking is in progress, the add-on calculates the estimated time remaining until your simulation is finished. If the simulation is taking too long or you need a break, it's possible to pause the process and resume at a later time. A cache statistics panel gives you detailed information on simulation, timing and mesh data of the entire cache or per frame. Enjoy this wonderful add-on for Blender.